<laughs> yes, petrified. All right, have any we're going to start. In front of me. I can't see myself. I mean, you know, does my hair, does my hair look okay? All right. Fantastic. We're, st Fantastic. we're streaming, guys. Okay. Never seen this. We are streaming. I think we should. I think we should do a little, a little intro, Tom, just to let people know. You think? Yeah. Just be like, we're gonna go live soon. Right, I'm not gonna watch the chat. I can't. Do I'm watching it. All right. What, why don't we let people know what they're watching? Just All right. Cut, cut Giles the... says we are live. Yeah. Wrap it off. We're going live. All right, Tom, you're on. Guys. It's Tom Sinclair with a very special edition of Streaming Idiots coming to you live from the floor of NAB 2018 Central Hall in the, how can we describe, in the amazing live streaming studio that PTZ Optics has created out of nothing here. <laughs> in just a few minutes, we're going to start the Streaming Idiots show. Hang around. We'll be right back. Tom, you're on. Oh, there you go. <gasps> Martin did that. He uh, built those from scratch. Uh, we're gonna try again. Well, hello, welcome. I'm Tom Sinclair. This is Streaming Idiots, and uh, yeah, <laughs> you're saying, "Well, hold on a second. I, I wasn't supposed to be watching this today. I was. I wanted to watch something else. No, this is Streaming Idiots. Yeah, this is the place where we set the bar really low. We, our expectations are down here. So when we screw up, of course we're going to screw up. Everybody's screwing up. Welcome. Glad you're here. I'm Tom Sinclair. I am coming to you live today from NAB, the National Association of Broadcasters Conference in Las Vegas, Nevada, from the PTZ Optics booth in the Central Hall where they have graciously invited me. Well, actually, I invited myself, but that's okay. <laughs> they have graciously allowed me to come and, and make use of their studio, and I am, I am so delighted to be here. We had such fun. I hope you tuned in for the live stream last night. We had such fun from the Streaming Idiots meetup. I hope you enjoyed it too. We had interviews, we had giveaways, we had uh, we had a wonderful time. We had, I think, over 100. I had planned for, first I planned for 100, and then I cut it back to 50, and then I said 75, and then it looked like over 100 folks showed up. So it was it was really great. And there were, there were folks there from all over the world, literally, and all over the U.S. too, of course. And so it was so wonderful to meet so many new folks that, I mean, you know, when you do these shows, you develop relationships with people all over the place and you correspond by email and text message and, and, and chats and all that. And so you feel like you kind of meet, you kind of know folks so that when you get to meet face to face, it's kind of like seeing an old friend that you haven't seen in a long time. It's, it's really cool. I have two old friends with me today that uh, I haven't seen in a whole in a long time, and it's really cool. I want to welcome into the show from PTZ Optics, weighing in at one. No, just teasing. Uh, Paul Richards and Tess Protesto. Welcome, glad guys. I'm so Hi, glad Tom. you're here with me today. Oh, I know you guys are just us. like live streamed out by now. <laughs> and it's only day three. No, we're ready to rock. Well, Had enough know, coffee. And you skip a streaming idiots show just because you're at NAB. Come on. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we would be thank disappointed. You. And I want to uh, do a special uh, announcement here. We are only going to chat on Tom's uh, chat wing on his website. What's the exact link to get to oh. the show? Generally, I would be pointing like this and saying, come on over to easternshorebroadcasting.com because that's where you can find the chat. If you click the watch live tab, the chat will be associated with that. Okay. So and come so if over you're watching here. Us on Facebook, come on over to easternshorebroadcasting.com. If you're watching on one of the PTZ Optics channels, come on over to East sorry about that Paul, but come on over to easternshorebroadcasting.com where you can get in on the chat. 
Now, you remember that this show is nothing but a infomercial for my company, Eastern Shore Broadcasting. A lot of info and maybe just a little bit of commercial. So, you guys ready for the commercial part? Fair enough. Yeah. Okay, Fair enough. the commercial part. <laughs> we design and build streaming PCs for folks all over the world. In fact, we, we built one for PTZ Optics like, what was it, like it almost every years day. Ago. Yeah. It seems like forever ago. And, and we ship them literally all over the world. We shipped one to the U.S. Virgin Islands a couple of weeks ago, and I was begging them, you know, will you please let me come down and install it personally? Yeah. And they said, no, 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 we don't need you. We just need your box. But also, I'm a reseller for vMix. I'm the number one reseller in the U.S. for vMix, second year in a row, and I'm so delighted. And they've actually invited me for the second year in a row to come back and represent them here in the vMix booth at NAB. So if you're here at NAB and you haven't been by the vMix booth yet, you need to come. It's in the South Lower Hall, 40, uh, excuse me, 4620. South Lower Hall, 4620. Find New Tech and take a right. And then, and, and, and then <laughs> you'll be there. Uh, we also represent uh, Magewell and PTC Optics and and um, who else do we represent? Um, X Keys mm. and um, anyway, probably other folks too. My brain is mush right now. So, enough of this commercial part. Let's let's get back to the info. You guys were at the party last night. Yes. Wow. Was it wow? Fun? It was amazing. Did you get to meet some new folks? Yes. Oh yes. We met yeah. a lot of amazing new uh, people, and we met fans of both yours and ours, which was so cool to be able to, to put a face to the chat names. Yes. So much fun. I got to hang out with Luria. I've been gushing over that as yeah. well. So, amazing. I'm thinking that, I mean, and this is a, y'all don't pay attention to this. Don't, don't pay attention to this part. I'm talking with Paul privately. It's just me <laughs> and him right now. I'm thinking that we need to co-sponsor this party next year yes. yeah. and see if we can't bring it up to the next yes. level. I mean, I can't believe the growth, Tom. It oh. was I, last year. It was 24 of us. This year, there's over 100. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. And what's going to happen really next year? Something. Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I, I, but I, I want to retain that intimate nature of the party where yes. people can come and they can they can make contacts with folks they can mm -hmm. relax let their hair down i mean nab is just a lot of walking it's a lot of activity it's yes. a lot of people you've never seen before and you'll never see again and here we can go into an environment that's a little more slower paced uh relaxed have something to drink get something to eat meet some new people meet some old friends yeah. yes you know folks that that you, you so saw many last faces year at NAB. Yeah. nab yeah so let's let's figure out what to do. Yeah, we, we'll, we, we have a whole year to think about it, yep. but we need it to be bigger and better, right? But not too... Not too big. Glamorous. Not too glamorous, just, just we might need a little more space. I, I, mean, was, was, I was shocked. I mean, that's, you know, three times the size as it was last year. What has changed for all of us? Well, you guys have made a huge impact in the live streaming business. Well, thank you. Not that. just the camera sales, <laughs> but your personalities online. Both of you guys are way over the top. <laughs> <laughs> We've been told that a time or two. <laughs> a time or two. And, and one of you by yourself would be way over the top, but you put the two personalities together. And one of the things <laughs> I love about the, the way you guys work is that there's synergy. You're not fighting each other for attention. You almost mm -hmm. sense when's the right time to jump in, when's the no. time to be quiet. And and you guys have got that, that you've got it. Whatever it is going uh -huh. on, you've got it going Tess on. Tess is really good good with, with sensing it. I'm probably not as, I'm probably not as good at you, but you, T Tess knows. She's like, all right, now it's time for me to jump in or even interrupt on purpose if in a good way. No, we, <laughs> I think he's we going off the rails a, a little bit. Too. I forget it was like, you're always interrupting Paul. I'm like, but yeah, what's the biggest I'm challenge a jabber guys, What's the biggest challenge you guys have faced as a internet couple <laughs> in, uh, <laughs> in this live streaming deal. Talk, let's Biggest talk about challenge? I mean, uh, you know, it, it's strategy. We're stra strategizing growth. And time. And time. We have a minimal amount of time, so what do we do? Uh, you know, at one point we thought the answer was more shows, more shows, more shows. And I think that it's so much fun because we're continually saying, all right, no, that wasn't quite the answer, but it got us halfway. In fact, Tom was saying something that I think is gonna to be totally ahead of its time. 
and I'll just let you, I'll just let it out of the bag something is that I said. You, something you said you said well maybe what if we had a, a live streaming club, okay, where it's like a Twitch channel or something, an exclusive channel where it's you know you're there, we're there, maybe Loria and David are there. And we get together this community of streamers, and we can build a television network just yes. by allowing everyone to have access to the same channel. And yes. that grows the pie for everyone, but it also gives the audience like a whole lot more content to watch from their favorite creators. I think that could be huge, Tom, if we structure it right. Yes. But there's all these that things. Would, that would be so coming. helpful to me because... I never know when your show's on, and I never know where, where to go to watch. So I'm looking yeah. like, all right, is it on Stream Geeks? Is it on PTZ Optics? Is you don't it on get PC my Optics? I get, yeah, uh -huh. but I don't read them until the next day. Uh, he's a busy guy. Are you me? <laughs> she works hard on those emails, Tom. What I need is is a little thing to pop up on my phone and say, yes. Well, we Home talked about that. Home tests are live in five minutes. We talked about it's called Pass SMS. To watch. That out. I would love that. We're, we've been talking about doing SMS messaging. Um, it, you, you have to opt in to do that. Like the, the user, basically, you put their email in. They get a text message. They say, "Do you want live show messages? Yeah. Yes or no? If you, yes, put them in the list." Something. Another thing. There's so many things. Let us know so in the chat. Things. Is that something you'd be interested in? Maybe we can look into figuring that how, out how to make that work. Here's the deal. As a streaming idiot, yeah. I'm pitching to the lowest bar, <laughs> which is me. No. And if and if it's not easy for me to do, I don't I don't want to try to do it for my for my my folks. Uh, yeah, understandable. You know, I want to make it as easy to be. It's the same time. It's the same place. And you guys do that too. But you've got three different brands going we on. We do have yes. And it's there's a, a little bit of brand bleed. Yeah. And that doesn't work for me. I, you guys just need to do one show. Well, like um, a five-hour show. No, just season. Well, before that. we stop talking about the party, which was a huge success last oh, night, yeah. I took about a minute and a half of video. Do you want to share that? Oh, yeah. Would You've you got video from last, night's from last night's party? From last night's party, yeah. yeah. You don't have the bad part. No, just the good part. Just the good part. Just okay. Good part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can it's play that. What do you that think, Jim? Can we, ro can we roll that? Which video is it? Uh, it should be, uh, I think it's Phoenix Reseller Meetup is what I named it. I think there were two V-Mix resellers. There we go. Well, three. Maybe four. <laughs> it's okay to be spelled wrong. <laughs> I figured. It's okay. It's a streaming idiots. I figured that'd be all right. Is there audio with this? I think there's some music. Yeah, we're seeing Scott's studio right now. There's there's the main part of the studio. Behind all the people is the radio set. He's got a really cool radio set, and we get an idea awesome. of what he's what he's switching with. He's using TriCaster. I think that's TriCaster. Actually, I've never seen one. Um, that's Dan and Eamon from Bird Dog, and that's the giveaway for the ladies. And Eric Pratt giving away a virtual studio. Lots of giveaways, more than I even knew. Dan Slider giving away X keys. Oh, he was stoked. And Sasha came all the way from, um, where was Austria? it? Austria, yeah. yeah. And there's Daryl. We're giving away a Magewell dongle. And there's Tess. We're giving away a camera. Poor Tess didn't know that I was going to call on her. <laughs> Tom corrected me it. with everything I forgot. Well, yeah. Well, the video was kind of obvious. <laughs> was... And the winner of the camera. And a free upgrade to NDI. Ooh. Sweeten in the pot. Yes, indeed. So All that right. was the, the VMAX reseller meetup. It was, it was a fun party. Yeah, there's well, a little and, taste. It, and again, it wasn't just a reseller meetup. No, it was it wasn't. a streaming Sorry. idiots meetup. Yes. That is, of all the folks that are fans of this show, you could join it virtually, online, or for those of us that were fortunate enough to be there, like Mark, uh, we could watch it in person. Yeah, and Dave was there. Dave, Dave and Kenny did a fabulous job doing some interviews at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. And one of, the, one of the suggestions we got last year was, don't just do a, a live stream that has no purpose and catches snippets of conversation mm -hmm. where you don't you might accidentally intrude on a conversation you know, right. where somebody's talking about something that they don't want the whole world to know. So we set up the interviews and we were That's able to interview idea. different folks and got you guys on mm -hmm. to, to be interviewed and it, and it was a lot of fun and we'll, we might do something like that again. Yeah. So we'll do a party. 
Let me yes. party. Yeah, we have to. Why don't you guys rent just like a, a real big mansion for your B&B next year? You guys could stay there, and then we could have the party there. It's not a bad idea. I mean, not a real big mansion, but maybe we could rent a maybe, space. Maybe that would make sense, yeah. honestly. And then, I mean, and a place where we could have, with us. you know, a, a big garden. Yeah, uh, big garden party. Fountain. Yes, and yes. Now yes. he's pushing. Golden ceilings. Yes. <laughs> I, I think we're thinking like Vegas now. <laughs> this is good. This is good. Oh, that and sounds great. That sounds really great. That's a great idea. We got in the car or the Uber after we left, and he said, wow, that was uh, near our entire chat in one room. Yeah. It was amazing. I know. It was funny. I had a joke. I was like, I don't think anyone's watching the live stream because <laughs> everybody's here, here <laughs> watching about, it in person. Actually, there were about 300 folks watching the live stream. Are you serious? And we're up to about 500 views so far wow. today between wow. YouTube and Facebook. Wow. Yeah. That's wow. awesome. Yeah, but before I forget, I want to give a huge shout out to Scott Whitney Absolutely. for letting us use his studio. Oh, that yes. was just, you know, he was so generous and we trashed the place. <laughs> and it just, it was so wonderful. And he's such a, a generous and gracious host. Uh, this is Podwork Studio. If you're in Las Vegas and you need a live streaming studio, or if you need a consultation, if you're anywhere in the world and you need a consultation on your live streaming studio, that's part of what Scott does. It's Scott Whitney. It's Podworks. P-O-D-W-O-R-X. Podworks Studios in Las Vegas. All right, so now let's talk a little bit about PTZ Optics. Yes. We have, can I say this? Well, I'm going to say it, and then you can tell me I shouldn't have said it. Okay, <laughs> okay. it's it's Go much for it. easier to get permit uh, to forget for forgiveness as opposed to permission. Paul can vouch for that. <laughs> so, <laughs> Paul and I are two peas in a pod. I think. <laughs> yeah. Um, PTC Optics is going to be introducing a new camera. Yes. yes. Which is um, not shipping yet. No. It's in. It's be, it's currently being manufactured. Yeah. It's actually. It should be in sh transit. Like we're we're going to be shipping very soon. And it is a 150x camera. Yes. <laughs> With 10,000 frames per it, second. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. No, it's a it's a 30x. Yes. And it's it's the same chassis as the same same footprint. Yes. As the existing camera looks the same. Mm -hmm. So if somebody's already got a 12 and a 20. This is going to fit right into to what they Their have. Family. It's going yeah. to be uh, an NDI version. Oh, certainly there will be an NDI version. And a non-NDI version. And a non-NDI version. In, in yeah. gray and white. Gray and white. And it'll have power and control. And what's that other thing it has? Oh my gosh, video. <laughs> video, oh video. yeah, that's right. That was the moment last night that <laughs> I forgot. Right. And how embarrassing was that? Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> and so this is April, so we're, we're expecting that June. April, uh, May, Hopefully. yeah, I would, I would say I would, I'm hoping Definitely for May, but May. yeah, let's 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 say so June. So if Paul's hoping for May, <laughs> yeah, then so that August. means it'll be nice year. So that means so June, no. yeah, 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 June, June of 2018, though, that's good. All right. Well, well, interesting. I don't know if I've told you about this. About if we're talking about the 30x oh. camera, we're talking about the 30x um, camera. The field of view. The wide field of view is exactly the same as the 20x. No way. So it's 60. Point two, I believe. Right. So that the twelve X is seventy two. Right. Which is really nice in the small studios. It's yes. really good. The extra twelve degrees it gives you a lot. A lot. But the twenty X and the thirty X actually have the same sixty degree field of view. So um, you can, if the difference is the tight field of view, it can just zoom in a lot more. Right. And we have a calculator on our website. You can pull the dial over. And I, if you pull it all the way to the dial, all the way to 100 feet away from the camera, uh, it gets a four foot wide by two foot um, shot. So almost about a head and shoulder shot from 100 feet away. That's the 30X. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. There are going to be some people that are going to be all over that because it's going to fix a problem. That yeah, they a lot have. of people have been requesting it, so Matt yeah. got that in the works. We know, we, we know there is a high demand for large stadiums, auditoriums, and also think about the guy who doesn't know where he's going to be next. Yes. Right? He does football streaming one day, he does church streaming another day. You know, he would probably want a 30x over a 20 just because he's still got the same wide field of view, but he may need that extra zoom. That flexibility. Well, later. You don't even have to talk about somebody that's going from one genre to another. If you're in the event streaming business, mm -hmm. you're going to be in a 20 by 20 room one day, and you're going to be in a 100 foot hall the next day. Yeah. Um, sure. If if I were if for those of you that are doing events, you can place your orders with this PTZ Optics reseller today for the 30x, and we will have those rascals shipped to you the day before Paul ships them to anybody else. <laughs> 
forgiveness, not permission. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's, we're, we know that there's a high demand. I'm very excited about that product. And the fact that now every product that we offer will always also have an NDI counterpart. Yeah. Whenever we launch one product, we're essentially launching two. It's kind awesome. Of cool. That's that's great. That's great. Did I tell you about the pricing? They're not free? They're not free. Tell me about the pricing. So um, the cool thing is, is that our 12X is $15.99. Our 20X is $16.99, and the 30X is only going to be $17.99. Get out. So what Matt Davis has always said about the pricing for the NDI cameras and uh, the Z cams and all that, it's about choosing the right camera. Yes. Um, we, don't, we don't want it to be, you know, because we could have inflated that price, I would imagine, but it's about choosing the right camera for your scenario. Mm -hmm. If you have a small studio where it's going to be permanently there forever, the wide field of view is going to be better for you. Um, if you're on a budget and you need a couple cameras that are a little large, the 20X is maybe better. But I'm thinking for the all-around flexibility for those event streamers, it's going to be clearly be the 30X is going to be the choice. Aren't you concerned that the 30X is going to cannibalize your 20X sales? Good question. Uh, I don't think there's any concern because it's a replacement of a camera model from the same company, you know what I mean? So cannibalization within within your own brand is usually a good thing. It's more of an expansion of the whole pie. See, he's one of those forward-thinking kind of guys <laughs> that, that does that. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Good. Tom, you're getting a few compliments on your V-Mix shirt. Ooh. Well, I only get to wear it four days a year. <laughs> I, I, I wore it one time for one of my Streaming Idiot shows. Mm -hmm. And I got a waggy finger after oh, that. Really? Oh, really? Says, this is a this is a NAB uh, only. <laughs> so, so, so you this, can wear it around the house, but nope, not even allowed to wear it around the house. Are they watching you? Well, they <laughs> seem to know everything. You know, I love and to the talk shoes. A little Can't bit about the the, um, the new VMix features because I think they're going to change the game for Great the cameras. Great segue. Um, and I, I mean, and I, it's also another funny segue too because you were getting in trouble for wearing the VMix T-shirt. Yesterday, Martin Sinclair was on the show, and I said, "Hey, uh, Martin, can I show some B-roll of the vector scopes?" And he's like, "No, you may not." <laughs> Thank goodness we didn't show it. So you know, we're always breaking the rules over here. But. I asked the same question this morning. M Martin and I were ready to uh, to do to some show video about it, and, and he said, and no, "Show no, them no. off," and it was kind of like. So we, we don't really want to tell you no, but no. <laughs> we, we can, we talk, can't well, but show we can't it to show. you. But hold on, before you do that, they got an award this morning oh. I saw. for VMix 21 for the color correction feature, and it hadn't even been released yet. Wow. wow. Is that How did they cool? get an award for it? I mean, it's incredible. Martin was on our show yesterday, and he said, I'm not sure how many companies I'm upsetting by putting a vector scope and a waveform monitor into our product, but there are people here who sell that product for thousands of dollars, and he's just adding it as an extra feature. Just buy vMix. An HD wave, a 4K waveform monitor. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty amazing, and that's one of the things that, that Martin does so routinely, is he adds such value to his software time and time again. And really what I think he's doing, Paul, is that he's, he also, he, obviously he wants to sell software to right. people that have never used vMix before. But unlike other software companies, he's still looking after the folks that made a pledge to him by buying his software two and three and four years ago. Mm -hmm. And he's bringing them, do you know that to this day, they advertise they do, but they don't charge for, up, for upgrades from one version to another? Jeez. I was talking with somebody today that's using version 14, and he's going to go home tonight, and he's going to upgrade to version 20, and Whoa. triple his feature set, oh, yeah. and, and he's going to spend nothing to do it. Wow. Because Martin has said, if you're my customer, you're my customer for life. I'm not just interested in getting this new customer today, mm -hmm. and then you know it's going to cost them 50% of the cost of the software or something like that to upgrade in the future. No, I'm bringing everybody along on this journey together. Wow. I'm, I'm just. I got to say, that's great for us too, because you know yes, those new is. features and you know Tim actually said it. It's a PTZ anniversary, because two years ago this show was when they added PTZ control, and that's really when, and that was Sorry, ahead of its time. You know that was before the TriCaster was using PTZ control over IP with our cameras. That's Martin's mo, though. It is. I mean, he adopted, and he was the first person to adopt NDI in anything other than new tech. Jeez. He had vMix Social written three years ago 
that you guys have just blown up. In oh, the I last love it. Year. I love it. It's great. He had VMix call last year, and yes. you know who's announced yes. the VMix call of their own brand this year? Skype. Yes. Skype is now NDI compatible and available as an input into VMix over mm -hmm. NDI. I mean, this guy is. Can I say this? He's an effing genius. <laughs> That's definitely apparent. Yeah. I mean, not and not just a genius. We can see the edge of the earth. Martin sees over the edge of the earth. Yeah. So. It's the truth. He is yeah. he is anticipating what's going on, and well, and he has the capability to make it happen. The new features that he released, I was just like, wow. So there's the waveform monitor and the vector scope, and I'd like to talk a little bit about how that's going to change everything. Way, if anyone's using a PTZ Optus camera or any camera with VMix, it's going to change the way we, we set the cameras. Oh yes. And we're going to get a lot more depth out of the cameras. So that, let's just talk about that for just one second, because I don't know, I haven't learned it all. For our but essentially, what Martin has brought in, it's, there's a waveform monitor. Yes. And a vector scope. Right. And it allows you to see the colors coming off the camera, and you can see whether or not you're clipping. Yes. And a lot of times, your camera may be set to be clipping, and you don't even know. Right. So you can take this tool and turn down, and it's called a flat image, I believe. Right. So you want to have like a flat image coming in that's not uh, nothing's peaking or going on, and then you can use the color correction tools from VMix to go ahead and boost the mids and get a nice thick, and so that's going to make our cameras look better. Not only do we have PTC control of them, we, for two years we've had that, but now the actual image that we're getting out of the camera is going to be better. And you could save the settings. Oh yeah, tell us about that too, yeah. Tess, because that's a really big feature. Yeah, it's going to be great for our cameras and pairing them with others. I mean, some people do that. Now you can uh, automatically match. We can even write up knowledge base articles, I was thinking. Yeah. Say, you know, if you have the 12X and the 20X, if you feel like they don't perfectly match, here's the exact settings that you might need to make sure that you're going to have the same appearance. Not only can you put it in a knowledge base, you can put it in a file make it available as a download yep, yeah. that your customers can download, they can import it into vMix and suddenly yeah. you can have a PTZ to Sony match, and yeah. you can have a PTZ to free. Panasonic match. Well, and Martin is, he's actually Sweet. kind of hilarious, he's kind of funny too, because he was like, or you could be a trailblazer and you could you could uh, have presets so that Sony people <laughs> could make their Sony cameras look more like PTZ <laughs> optics. And I was like, I like where you're going with this, Martin. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> You should. <laughs> you should. Everyone Can't get wait. over to the PTZ Optics look. That's the preset we're going for. That's right. That's right. <laughs> the streaming look. Well, talking about streaming, one of the features that's been asked for in vMix for, golly, since I've been involved with vMix, is the ability, vMix can, can do up to three streams at one time. Yes. But in the past, it's been all or nothing. You get all three of them, or you get none of them. Yeah. And now you can start and stop individual streams oh individually. Oh, that was a cool yeah. feature. Too. You That's can a start big all three one. and it stop one. It seems like one. a small one, but it's huge. Yeah, I'm trying to think of some applications for that. Did you hear what Tim was, was saying about the live shout out? Yeah. No. It's genius. Okay. Tell me. So here it is, and Tom, you're going to love this one. So, so you can stream to three destinations, right? But now that you can turn them on and off, you could do live shout outs. So you could say a live shout out to your Facebook group. Hey everybody, yes. I'm in the midst of a live stream yes. right now, but here's a 30 second clip letting you all know that my, uh, my all hour long broadcast is here. So you can go pop, and then you're in. Hi everybody, I'm live for 30 seconds. Boop, let me go do a live shout out to this page. Boop, live shout out to this page. Boop. Can you go back to the stream if you stop it? If it's your stream now, you could, yeah. And so you could have one continual stream and then start these shout outs that ride simultaneous to. Or if you want one segment only to be posted in yeah. shorter form. Yeah. Which is uh, what that's, that's what version. I think the future yes. is for our show. I want to have shorter content that's more, you know, succinct and ready for the for the on demand. It's nice and beautiful. Well, we could split and up our Q&A. The Q&A, the giveaway, trivia, get so that, that cuz that that part isn't always, you it's know, it's special for our live it's viewers. It's really it could really help us a yeah, lot. Yeah, but it's different for the on demand. It on changes the way we do our show and it's just a small feature that Martin oh, put Oh, the in. wheels are going to be turning for us. Speaking of wheels, it just dawned on me what the next feature Martin needs to add into vMix is. What? He needs to add a, and it would be an input, and it would be the PTZ Optics prize wheel. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, a spinning wheel. That could be an Easter egg, like a hidden yeah. feature. It's like it's. And you can change hidden. the colors. You can change the size. You can you can label it. Oh yeah. Customize and then, the and, prizes. And no more accusations that it's weighted on one end. Yes, so that it yes, never, yes. Yeah. Or, or there's a feature that you can rig the wheel yeah, if you'd like to. Even it never lands really on generous. the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> or you can do odds. No. A prize wheel in general would be fun. That would be that would be hilarious. What if he gets to, he has every single feature possible and then he just starts adding things like the possibilities are endless it seems <laughs> they are that's hilarious and what's funny about this whole thing too is that the vmix code is just so compact it's so smooth it's so fast yeah but what that if you could does stream my mind. ken richer says what if you could stream different outputs from vmix yes um i think so I wonder, I'll have to check. that's a good question what would that mean? I, I would love to do that because you could have like a behind the scenes yeah. camera. Yeah. And that would be great. Oh, and stream only that camera. Yeah, not or, just the map. Or the map. your user group. Could I wouldn't only be surprised that if that one. Yes. I wouldn't be surprised if he has that. that That's another great idea. I mean, right now, when you do a second recording, you can record any other mm. input on vMix you want to. Multicoder gives you the ability now to record, sep to record separate sections. Right, but you're talking about streaming. I think yeah. that. That? What was the power, the vMix Power all about? vMix Power. vMix Power. Let's see, what day was vMix Power released? <laughs> was that April 1st? Oh. Yeah. It okay. was an April Fool's joke. Okay. Ah. It was April Fool's joke. I see. How we're many not really selling them on Easter Show Broadcasting's <laughs> online site. No. Tom, maybe you can help with this one. Anderson says, how many inputs can be recorded at the same time in the multi-quarter? Four. Four. And they're not inputs, they're cameras. Cameras. Right. Yeah. And if you had to do more than four, you could use the NDI outputs with Toss an NDI, NDI. ISO quarter. Yeah. I mean, NDI is just like this amazing, silly putty that you can form into any shape and get it to do anything you need to practically. It's, yeah. it's amazing. Oh, it's incredible. There's Nick. Nick is the man from last night. Hi, well Nick. Done, Good sir. job, Nick. <laughs> Hi, Scott. Oh, and Scott's here, too. Hey, Scott. Our gracious host. We were talking Very about good. you in the beginning of the show and, and how amazing it was. Yeah. <laughs> These are the folks from, from... How uh, kind it was for you to let all those people in. From Podworks, yes. Hopefully there wasn't too much destruction afterwards. Uh, no, you can't even tell now. Really? If you walk in the studio right now, you'd have no clue. Wow. That was amazing. Was You're not dead. You don't miss anything that was what? taken. All right, there you go. That's well, good. Actually, I, I see, also see uh, Daryl and Maywell lining up. They apparently the have a no, wait, wait, wait. They've got this announcement. amazing announcement. Huge announcement. That you don't even know about. They won't tell me because they know, in the wings they here know that I will... I will probably tell you guys. I would have told you guys already what it was. Today. Well, you would have told I would me. Have known. I would have told you. And I would have told hinted Tess. to it. <laughs> yeah, told it's Tess, a, it's yeah. a smart move. Tess that would have posted it online. Tess, it Tess would have posted it online. Well, then we need we need to wrap up. Thank you guys so much, number one, for being my guests, but also for being my hosts. Of course. Yes. And and for having such a great working relationship over the Isn't, years. That's what I, I, I was talking to the guys about that, about what you said in your speech last night, about how crazy it is in this industry that uh, people that would typically be competitors can actually benefit from working together. And so many of us do. All right, 90 seconds on that. Let me, let me give that to you. It, it is up to us to continue to maintain that and, and show that as an example to the other people that are coming into the industry now, mm -hmm. that this is the way to be most successful. Yeah, you can be sort of successful by trying to carve out a niche, but you can be more successful by being collegial in developing the niche. Will it happen as fast? Well, probably not, but if you're in it for the long term, if you're in it for the long game, you're going to make relationships, you're yeah. going to make friends, your, your friends will have your back, your friends will help promote you and support you. When somebody calls PTZ Optics and they say, golly, we'd like to uh, get an idea of somebody that can build us a streaming PC, I'm getting those emails from you guys all the time because, mm -hmm. because they're saying, well, we know the guy because we use the guy. And, yeah. and, that's, and, and, and that's old school. You know, that's really old school. So well, it's what's working for us, so yeah, we can yeah. vouch for that. So thank you for hosting me. Thank you guys for, for watching. 
thanks to Martin and Jim behind the scenes for yeah. making all this look so Great good. Great switching. And, Great uh, switching. Stay tuned, if you're watching on the PTZ Optics channels, and if you're not, you need to go over to the PTZ Optics channels, so stay tuned for the, the one o'clock Pacific time show coming up, because mobile video devices and Errol Spangler have got a announcement. Thank you for that, Tom. See you guys next week. I love this, it's too good.